If you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, an Instagram or TikTok account or any sort of presence online, you do need a good content strategy. And equally, you need a good tool to plan out, manage and execute that strategy. Now, my brain is chaos. Over the last decade, I tried many different tools to organize, set chaos and I've recently been getting into Notion. As it turns out, Notion is not only a great tool to brain dump, take notes, make to-do lists and organize your life. It is also working really well for me as a content planning tool for my YouTube channel because it has a lot of advanced features for project and task management. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this video isn't sponsored by anyone. It's just my personal honest experience with Notion. Also, the version of Notion that I'm personally using is completely free, so you don't have to shell out any money to try it out for yourself. And as always, all in any relevant links you'll find down below the video. Now, if you don't know what Notion is, Notion is marketed as a productivity and note-taking app. It's available for Windows, for Mac, Android, iOS, on the web as a desktop standalone application. Inside Notion, you can create really elaborate pages with headings, logos, banners, to-do lists, markdown, tables, embeddings, and many other useful widgets. And much like with Lego building blocks, it's entirely up to you how you want to structure your pages and the content within them to suit whatever works best for your brain. You can also create databases within Notion, which are really just a collection of pages. You can then view, filter, sort and organize these pages to represent tasks or projects or anything else that you'd like. And this is exactly where I think Notion works really well for me to plan my content for YouTube. Now, that might all have been a little bit too fluffy and high level. So here's a look at how I myself am using Notion right now to plan the content for my YouTube channel. Besides quite a few pages to organize my personal life and an embedding of Todoist directly with the Notion so I don't have to hop out to a separate application, I have a page here for Surfaced Studio. Inside this page, I have my current business vision, objectives and my goals all still in draft form. Then there's a bunch of links to other parts of my planning process. And I won't go into all of these, but the one I do want to jump into is the content plan page. In here, I have a database set up that contains all of my current and upcoming YouTube videos. Now, there's way more in here than just these five, but I like to keep the number of active projects to a minimum because it helps prevent me from getting overwhelmed. And it's really easy to hide all of that noise away in Notion so that you can focus on what's important. I added a bunch of columns for due date, status, type, whether it's a YouTube video, an Instagram post or a digital project, completion percentage, which is actually calculated based on the subtasks within each of these entries, a rough sizing and tags so I can easily find things that I'm looking for. Because each YouTube video takes me quite a while to complete, inside each of these projects, I have a list of subtasks all with their own details, properties and status. And again, I can go into each of these subtasks and add more info in here as I work through them and complete the overall project. At the top project page level, there's actual information for the YouTube video, some thoughts and you know just information on the actual project itself. Back in the content plan, underneath my active projects, you can see a to-do list. And this is where we'll dump the next thing to do. It's actually really easy to get stuck on just trying to figure out what to do next. So this really short to-do list is literally the next thing for me to jump into if I'm just looking for something to do without having to think about what I actually need to do in the first place. Below that, I have a simple list of ideas for anything that pops into my head or that I think would be a cool video to make or project to tackle. Now, this is really just to quickly dump my ideas somewhere so that I can free up my brain space and just move on. Now, one thing I really like about Notion is that you can actually have different views on the same database. For example, right now we're looking at my active projects, but I can also look at the ones that I'm currently planning out for the next few months. I can look at only the digital products I want to create, or if I'm feeling brave, I can look at everything in the database at once. But that's usually just if I'm trying to find something that I thought I have lost. Another really cool thing is that I can also view my database as a calendar based on the due date assigned to each item. This gives me a great overview of what's coming up time-wise, and I can drag and drop items around here in case my plans all just fall apart. Now let's pretend I want to create a new YouTube video. I can simply create a new entry in my database, give it a title and then open it up to get started. I can set up a bunch of basic properties here and then go down to the list of subtasks associated with this video project. I have some templates set up in here for the subtasks that I need to do either for a standard video or a tech review as they are slightly different in the workflow and I can simply drag these into my task list and Notion will populate them for me. And from here, I can then jump into the subtasks and fill in more details as needed for scripts or ideas or VO or the thumbnail or the metadata or anything else. But I won't bore you with all of that right now. As I work through the overall video, I can change the status of these subtasks, fill in whatever information I want. And in my content plan, Notion will now display me a percentage completed of the YouTube video based on the status of all of the subtasks. 
Notion is highly customizable, which also why it might seem a little bit complex at first, but the ability to hide a lot of noise away in separate tabs and pages, toggle lists and other mechanisms is helping my brain focus more and more on the stuff that is actually important rather than drowning in the chaos. Now, there's a lot of other cool stuff you can do in Notion. For example, they've recently integrated an AI that can help you summarize tasks, generate text, change the tone of things, or cut out the fluff and much, much more. But unfortunately, that's a paid feature. And since I'm a cheapskate, I will continue, at least for now, to use the free version of ChatGPT for all of that. But there's a lot of really useful features in Notion. And do let me know if you're keen to see more. Hopefully, this was somewhat insightful. And if you're interested, go and give Notion a try. It's available completely for free, so there isn't really anything to lose. And you'll find all of the relevant links down below the video. And that is all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. All comments, questions, or suggestions, just leave them down below the video. And with that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.